Tableau 10 introduced us to cross database joins. So what a cross database join is, is it allows you to connect disparate data sources at the row level as opposed to doing blending which joins at the aggregate level. Now one of the things that you can do with cross database joins is you can create calculations that you can then use for sorting which you can't do with a blend. So I'm going to show you an example of that today. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect to my global superstores extract. So let me go ahead and find that. So global superstore and you'll see that it's a Tableau extract. And when I go ahead and connect to this you'll see I've got uh, this is what my data looks like. It's basically same thing as superstore but at the global level. Now I have an Excel spreadsheet that has the targets, the sales targets for each country for each year. So again, my first data source, source was an extract. My second data source is going to be an Excel, an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Add. And I'm going to add an Excel spreadsheet. And I'm going to add my global superstores. And based on the name of the field, you'll see that Tableau automatically joined them. So if I click on my little join icon here, you'll see that Tableau joined them on country. And if I flip back over to my spreadsheet, you'll see it actually should be country and year. But when I click on my other join clause, I don't see year as an option here. Well, actually, yes, I do. It's there at the bottom. So good. Tableau picked that up for me automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and pick year of order date. And I want to join that to the year of country. So what this is doing now is it's uh, Tableau is doing a join uh, across these two different data sources instead of doing a blend. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that, close, close it with a little X, and let's call this uh, Global Superstore with Targets, just so I can distinguish it from my other one. I'm going to go ahead and go to my sheet now. Now one of the great things we could do is I could go ahead and double click on country up here in my, uh, my data, and I get a nice world map. And I could go ahead and uh, maybe I want to put sales on the color. All right, so we get a really simple map. Nothing particularly great. I'm going to switch this to uh, circles. Okay, so now we've got a map like that. But what I want to do is I want to actually go ahead and create a calculated field that allows me to uh, tell which countries um, are above and below target and by how much. So I'm going to first call this uh, variance to target. And this is just going to simply be the sum of sales divided by the average of my target. Now I'm doing the average of the target because if you look at my data source, I've got uh, my target will get repeated for every record that's below the country and year level. I'll show you that here in just a second. So if I go back to my, if I view my data and I scroll to the right, you'll see that my targets will get repeated. So let me just go ahead and sort this. So I've got certain targets like right here. These two are repeated because uh, there's more than one record. So that's why I need to do the average of the, uh, of the, of the, uh, the target. So I'm going to now take variance to target and put that on the view. All right, so now in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to edit my default properties color and I'm going to make this a uh, orange to blue palette. And I'm going to set the center as at 1, because if you're at 100%, uh, that means you are right at the goal. So hit OK. And there we go. We've got some countries that are above and below the target. OK, great. So uh, what I could do now, though, is I can now use this in a calculation. So I'm going to go ahead and drag, just drag country to the rows this time. And I'm going to put sales on the columns. And uh, I can now use this filter or this field to sort. So I'm going to go ahead and sort my country in descending order by the field variance to target. Hit OK. And now you can see which countries. Uh, I'm doing it by sales, but uh, let me go ahead and put variance to target in the view as well. And you'll see that everything is sorted by that field. So nice and neat. I like that. 
So now I can actually create another calculation. So let's create another calculated field. It's uh, above target. And I'm just going to say variance to target is bigger than 1. And now I get a nice Boolean calculation where it's near above target. I can throw that on the color shelf. And if I scroll down, you'll see that once I get below 1, well, they start to turn blue. So I could do a couple different things there. So I was able to use my uh, a calculation that went across two data sources for sorting in Tableau 10. I wasn't able to do that before. So hopefully you found that pretty helpful. Um, you, another example might be to look at it by, by region. And we could then look at, uh, let's say we want to look at um, uh, variance to target by region. So because regions are a subset of our countries, we can do that. And I could go ahead and sort that. So now I could put that on color. All right, and there we go. Okay, so that's not working quite right. Okay, so uh, I think I might have done something wrong there, but that's okay. We just hit undo, my favorite feature in Tableau, and we go back here. So now the point of this is just show you how to do a cross database join and how you can use a calculation to sort uh, through a cross database join. So hopefully you found that helpful, and I'll be back soon with another tip. Have a great day.